My name is Ina Cohen, and the goal of this project is to live without a chemical for a day. My chemical is Murex. Before I actually start attempting the project, here are a few things that are good to know about this chemical and pesticide. First of all, what is Murex? Murex is a chlorinated organic compound that was primarily used as an insecticide to kill fire ants, or also industrially as a fire retardant. Actually, fortunately, it was banned by the EPA in the 1970s because of its detrimental effects to non-target species of marine animals like fish and shellfish. What are the concerns about Murex? Murex is a bioaccumulative, meaning it cannot be metabolized and it is stored in our fatty tissues and it gets more concentrated as it moves up the food chain, meaning that we are the most at risk. What are the harmful effects Murex can have on us? Damage to the stomach and intestines, to the liver and kidney, and to the thyroid glands. How are we exposed to Murex? Even though it was banned by the EPA in the 1970s, it can still be found everywhere in the environment because of its bioaccumulative properties. We can be exposed to Murex by eating contaminated fish or shellfish. Infants can be exposed to Murex through breastfeeding. Even to some extent, it could be found in drinking water. And since it was uh, previously used industrially as a fire retardant, it can be found anywhere from plastics, paper, rubber, paint, and electronics. And the FDA has l listed safety levels for Murex contamination. The EPA says the tolerable daily intake level of Murex is approximately 200 picograms per kilogram of body weight uh, per day in breast milk. No breast milk monitoring data has shown infant exposure at or near this level. The FDA similarly has made their own safety levels, except theirs is 100 picograms per kilogram of body weight in fish. We haven't had, you know, that problem of fish contamination. What I'm going to try to do today is try to live without Murex, so that's why I am standing outside because basically this is the only way I can survive without this chemical. Okay, so today is Monday 25th, uh, 9, oh you can't really see that, uh, 9 o'clock at night and it ends my day with no Murex. And it was really hard. I usually start my morning with oatmeal and I couldn't eat that because it's wrapped in paper and that might mean Murex contamination so I couldn't really eat that. And then I thought, hey, um, why not go for some fruit because that doesn't have any wrapping on it. But then, uh, then I remembered that Murex is also what well, was used as a pesticide so it might actually have that because it's not an organic apple. But then even if I had an organic apple, um, that still wouldn't mean that it wouldn't be free from pesticides because a lot of the organic stuff we have here isn't really organic. And plus, the organic store is really, organic farm is really far away from here and it's also really expensive so it's not really that realistic. Um, so basically, breakfast was nothing. Um, what else did I do? Um, uh, oh, I walked, I walked my dog, Benji, um, that was one of the only things I could do, um, but even that was hard because they just recently sprayed our whole backyard with some pesticides, um, which means Murex, so I had to kind of find like a secluded little area that wasn't sprayed with pesticides and it was really sketchy and had like a lot of rocks in it, um, but yeah um what else um so usually i would just read my kindle like i'm reading coming plague for that i'm going to present soon but i couldn't do that because murex is also found in electronics so it was a pretty uneventful day um but uh ironically it did allow me to walk a few blocks and visit my great grandfather because yeah and that was fun. Um, 
We took a selfie. Well, actually, no. We didn't take a selfie. I, I asked someone to take a picture because technically I'm not allowed to use electronics. Yeah, and I also I also wasn't allowed to, to drink water because um, I researched online and they said that technically Murex is found in very minute amounts in drinking water. And I, I couldn't use Facebook, obviously. So it was just basically walking outside the whole day. I mean, it was nice. I got lucky because it was nice weather. By dinner, I was, I don't know, I was... Like I was done. I was I was starving and I like I couldn't continue this, you know, no Murex day anymore. So I kind of gave in eventually and had some salad and chicken. Um yeah. Um but basically the truth is I think that, you know, um it's really <laughs> genuinely impossible to uh to live without Murex. Uh I could I could barely do it just for a few hours. It's completely impossible to do it for, you know, as a lifestyle because it's it's everywhere. Uh, because of its bioaccumulative properties, uh, we have some murex inside of us, and I think that's that's really scary. But I don't know. It really opened up my eyes and how like full of pesticides we are, and how our world is full of chemicals. Also, uh, what I forgot to mention is that like there were a lot of like limitations like since Murex was used as a flame fire retardant or it could be found in this you know or like on this couch too I'm just recording because it's it's kinda got cold outside so um yeah those those are a few technicalities that you might have noticed and I noticed too uh yeah